OK, so we've done the first step. We've worked out the proportionality. Proportionality, as you remember, is telling us if A is what we want to know and B is what it depends on, it's telling us how B A depends on B. So it's telling us this power here. In the case of trying to work out the force between the two charges, that force is proportional to r to the power minus 2. For the stars, what we want to work out might be the brightness, and what we know it depends on might be the mass. OK, so what do we do now? We know that what we want is proportional to whatever controls it to the power n. What we also need to know is examples of A and B for one particular case. So that might be a star we know, or the force when they're separated by 3 metres, something we know. So we'll call that A0 and B0. So we know the proportionality and we have one example, which is what we're scaling from. Now, how do we work it out? Well, there's an equation we can use. The value we want over the value we know is equal to the controlling parameter over the controlling parameter we know all to the power n. Now where does that come from? Well if a is proportional to b to the n that actually means that a equals some unknown constant b to the n. And the same also applies for the reference case, the case we know, which might be the star or the charge situation at 0 0.3 metres. So we know that A0 equals the same constant B0 to the n. So if we divide them, we find that A over A0, we find the C's cancel, equals B over B0 to the n, which is the equation over here. So that's how you do these things. Take the situation you know, and the new value will equal to the old value times the controlling parameter to whatever power n you got from your proportionality. So, in our particular case, we know for the charges that when the separation, for the charges we know the force is proportional to the distance to the minus 2. So n is minus 2, a is the force, b is the distance. We also know that when the distance was 0 0.3 metres, the force was 3 newtons. So that's our d0 and our f0. Those are the values we know and we're going to scale from them. What we want to know is what the force is when they are 12 metres apart. So Using this equation, the force we want will be equal to the force we know, 3 newtons, times the new distance, 12 metres over 0 0.3 to the power of minus 2, which is equal to 0 0.0019 newtons. So now we've been able to work out the force, even though we didn't know either of the two charges. So for another example, it turns out that for stars, the luminosity, which is how bright they are, is proportional to the mass to the fourth power. So let's what what's the what's the luminosity of a star that's twice the mass of the sun? So we know for the sun, luminosity of the sun equals the mass of the sun to the fourth power. So if something's the luminosity of a new star, which has twice the mass of the Sun, is going to be equal to the luminosity of the Sun, this is actually the symbol for that, times the ratio of the masses, the mass of the new one over the mass of the Sun to the fourth power. Now we know that's 2, so it's 2 to the fourth equals L of the Sun times 2 to the fourth. Easy.